effects of heat on matter. Heat is a form of energy that flows from one place to another due to difference in temperatures. Let us consider some examples. An ice cube melts if left outside the refrigerator for some time, and tea gets cold if left out in the open. These changes occur due to transfer of heat. Heat energy flows from hotter region to colder region. So the ice cube gets heat energy from its surrounding and melts, whereas heat flows out from the tea to the surrounding because tea is hotter than its surrounding. Heat changes matter in a variety of ways. The main effects of heat on matter can be grouped into two categories, physical change and chemical change. Physical changes include change in state and change in size of the matter due to heat. Matter normally exists in three states, solid, liquid and gas. As the temperature rises, the random movement of the particles increases and hence matter changes from solid to liquid and then to gas. The change of one state to another occurs due to various processes such as melting and condensation, evaporation and boiling, freezing and sublimation. A good example of change of state in nature is the water cycle. Liquid water from various water bodies evaporates due to heat from the sun. The warm, moist air rises high in the sky and forms clouds on cooling. On further cooling, condensation takes place and water comes down in the form of rain, snow and hail and the cycle continues. The amount of energy needed to change the state depends on the strength of forces between the particles of the matter in question. The substance with stronger force between the particles will have high melting and high boiling points. The second effect of heat on the physical properties of a matter is its size change. As heat is supplied, the matter expands. This happens because heat increases the energy of the rapidly moving particles. However, water is an exception. It expands if cooled below 4 degrees Celsius. Let's consider the example of ball and ring experiment. As the solid sphere expands on heating, it will not be able to pass through the ring it was easily passing through before heating. Here is another example. If a test tube filled with liquid and fitted with a cork and a capillary tube is heated, the water level in the capillary tube rises. Gases do expand on heating. If an empty test tube fitted with a cork and colored water-filled capillary is heated, the level of colored water rises as the gases present in the test tube expand, rise up, and push the liquid in the capillary upward. Heat can also lead to chemical changes in matter. The burning of a candle wick is a chemical change producing new substances. The wax of the candle acts like a fuel in the burning of wick. This burning produces carbon dioxide and water vapor along with heat and light from wax. If the wax is heated without wick, it will instantly burn with the release of large amount of heat, light and smoke. Now, look at the mystery of nature. Heat, which is invisible itself, brings about so many visible changes in matter. Isn't it wonderful?